hello everyone how to simplify this nice algebraic expression uh, without using the calculator uh, if we have 3 to the power of 15 plus 3 to the power of 12 plus 3 to the power of 9 plus 3 to the power of 6 plus 3 to the power of 3 we can simplify this algebraic expression and we will show all of the working here so the very first step uh, we are going to do is first we need to focus on the exponents of this expression so the first uh, the exponent of first expression is 15 we write it as 3 times of 5 plus the expression of the exponent of second expression is 12 we write it as 3 times of 4 plus uh, this is 9 we write it as 3 times of 3 and this is 6 we write it as 3 times of 2 plus this is 3 to the power of 3. Here we need to apply this nice uh, exponential formula if you have a to the power of m into n it is equals to a to the power of m to the power of n. So according to this exponent law we will break all of these exponents and we move uh, the term 3 inside uh, the term so it will be written as 3 cubed and its whole power is 5 plus we write this as 3 cubed and its whole power 4 plus we write this as 3 cubed and its whole power 3 and we write this term as 3 cubed and its whole square plus this is our 3 cubed and now you see that each of these terms uh, involve 3 cubed and we know that uh, 3 cubed equals to 27 so we write 3 cubed equals to 27 to the power of 5 plus here you have 27 to the power of 4 plus now here you have 27 to the power of 3 plus this is 27 to the power of 2 plus this is 27 and now uh, again uh, we will break uh, the exponent so if you break the exponent 5 we write it as 27 to the power of 4 plus 1 and plus this is uh, 27 to the power of 4 and similarly we write this 27 to the power of 3 as 27 to the power of 2 plus 1 and we write this is 27 square and plus here you have 27 only so now we can apply another exponent law and we break the exponent of this term and we write it as 27 to the power of 4 into 27 plus this is 27 to the power of 4 and plus Again, we break this exponent, it will be written as 27 to the power of 2 into 27. And here we have 27 square plus 27. So now we need to take common 27 to the power of 4 from these terms and 27 square from these two terms. And it will be written as, so we have 27 to the power of 4 into when you take common 27 to the power of 4 we will get 27 plus 1 and here you take common 27 square and we again get 27 plus 1 and here we get 27 only and now in the next step uh, you see here 27 plus 1 equals to 28 and we write it as 27 to the power of 4 into 28 plus 27 square into 28 plus 27 and now in in the first two terms we will take common 28 and we get the remaining terms are 27 to the power of 4 plus 27 square and plus 27 only so now further uh, in the next step uh, here uh, we will just break this 27 to the power of 4 and we write it as 27 square multiplied by 27 square becomes 27 to the power of 4 this is again our 27 square and again we have this is plus 27 and now uh, in the next step uh, if we take common 27 square from here then we get 27 square plus 1 into uh, plus 27 so now here we need to find the value of 27 square so 27 square means that 27 multiplied by 27 and uh, we break this 27 as 20 plus 7 so now here we need to multiply 27 with both of these values it will be written as 27 times of 20 multiplied by 27 times of 7 
So here you see that these are the two different numbers, but we consider 27 is the one digit number. So we multiply zero with 27, we get zero. When we multiply two terms of 27, we get here 54. Similarly, seven terms of seven is 49. We write nine and carry four. Seven twos are 14, 14 plus four becomes 18 and 240 plus 189 equals to 727 it means that 27 square equals to 729 and now here uh, we will just replace this 27 square equals to 729 so when you put uh, this value in this equation it will be written as 28 times of uh, 729 into 729 plus 1 and plus 27 okay uh, so here we need more simplifications and now we uh, rewrite this uh, algebraic expression as 28 times of 729 into 729 plus 1 equals to 730 and plus this is over 27 so now for proceed this we first need to multiply 729 with 730 so first we multiply these two numbers and after that we proceed all these expression so 729 multiplied by 730 equals to uh, we write 729 as 700 plus 29 uh, and it is multiplied by uh, this is 730 we write it as 700 plus 30 so here we need to multiply uh, these two uh, factors so we multiply term by term we first multiply 700 on both of these values it will become 700 square and plus 700 multiplied by 30 plus 29 multiplied by 700 plus uh, 29 multiplied by 30 so we know that uh, 700 square equals to uh, 4, 9 and 4 zeros. You just take the square of 7 and 7 square equals to 49 and you can just double these zeros. These are two zeros becomes four zeros. And here you have uh, these are the three zeros. We write these three zeros and 7, 3 is a 21. And here uh, you consider this is one number and these are three numbers. So when you multiply 29 with 0, we get 0. 29 times of 0 becomes 0. 7 nines are 63. We write 3 and carry 6. 7 twos are 14. 14 plus 2 becomes here 20. It will become here 20, 300. And when you multiply 29 times of 30, it will be equals to 870. You can easily multiply these numbers by traditional method of multiplication. So now in the next step, we need to sum up all of these values. So when you sum up all of these values, we will obtain here 729 multiplied by 730 is equals to 5, 3, 2, 1, 7 and 0. So now here we copy down our above equation. Our above equation is 28 times of uh, 729 multiplied by 730 and plus 27. It is equals to 28 times the product of these two numbers is 532170 and we, we just sum up here 27. So you can just uh, use that traditional method of multiplication which you can learn about in your primary classes. So you easily multiply 28 times of this number. Uh, so 28 time of this number is equals to 14900 and 760 plus this is over 27 and now here uh, finally uh, when you add uh, this uh, this number with 27 it is equals to 14907 and 87 okay this is the our final answer of the given question this is the final answer. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.